Welcome back guys. This is the 300cc Bombardier Rotax engine out of the Skidoo snowmobile. Uh, it's a single cylinder two stroke engine. I'm going to tear it down today and or part of it down anyways and see how things look and see what needs to be done to rebuild it or see if maybe it'll run right off the top. So uh, we'll dive into it a little bit here. I'll probably do a time lapse for you guys and uh, we'll see how far we get. All right, so I haven't got too far into it yet, but I pulled the can off and looking into the cylinder a little bit. I don't know how you guys can see that, but uh, the cylinder doesn't actually look too bad. Um, looks like there's maybe a little bit of scoring over there on the flywheel side, but uh, running the motor over, I mean, it doesn't catch on nothing, and I was pushing on the rings a little bit, and uh, the rings are actually not seized as far as I can tell pushing on them they kind of have a little bit of a spring back um, the piston does look like it's a little bit scored so uh, depending on how much a gasket get and stuff costing maybe rings um, I might tear it all the way apart uh, otherwise I might might just try and get the carburetor cleaned up and see if it'll run the way it is but uh, I'd like to look into it a little further before I do that because I don't want to wreck the whole motor when I could have just rebuilt it but uh, I'll keep tearing stuff apart here and we'll see what we find. All right, so we've gotten a little ways into it here. Um, looking in the cylinder from the intake side, um, kind of looking at the same deal. It uh, piston looks like it's scarred a little bit, or scored, sorry. So uh, we'll probably go the rest of the way just to make sure that things are all right as long as I can get gaskets and stuff to put it back together. Um, it's got a points and condenser system for ignition and I'd like to get to that and make sure that's all working good on the inside. Uh, but in order to do that, I gotta get this nut off and possibly find myself a flywheel puller. I got all that kind of stuff at home when I'm up at school like this. I don't always have it with me. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at there. Um, carburetor actually looks pretty clean. Uh, diaphragms and everything even look all right. Uh, probably be able to put it back together with this, most of the same parts that I took off of it. Uh, one problem we do have here is the the casting is broken on the top of the carburetor but uh, it's before the choke plate so I don't think that'll affect us too much. Um, I may take some JB weld and kind of fill that back in once I get it put back together just to plug that gap up but uh, shouldn't shouldn't affect the way it runs at all. Um, I'm going to take and blow through here with an air gun and make sure it's all cleaned out and probably run some carb cleaner and stuff like that in here too just to make sure everything's good and clean. But uh, everything is free. And uh, like I said, even the diaphragm and stuff on the inside looked like it was in pretty good shape. So uh, we shouldn't have to do too much there. Uh, I'm going to need a little bit of new fuel line here. This stuff is pretty old and brittle. Um, but that's not a huge deal. And I might possibly see if I can't find a new fuel filter just because this one's probably been on there for quite a while and who knows what's inside of it but uh, we'll see if that's a possibility or not otherwise I might see if I can't get this guy apart here and and uh, take the guts out of it put it back together and then put an inline filter further down and then just use this to uh, have a way to connect it to the carburetor so uh, it's kinda where I'm at right now I might, I might pull the head off here quick and see what the head looks like uh, but otherwise I'll be at a little bit of a standstill until I can get my hands on some other tools. So I got the head off. Looks pretty good actually. Uh, 
really good actually compared to what I thought it might look like. Even that spark plug looks like it's pretty decent and pretty new shape. Um, cylinder also in pretty decent shape. Um, this gouge over here on this side still concerns me a little bit. I don't know if that's something that's supposed to be there. I, I really doubt it, but uh, so that might take some work. Um, but looks a little bit better than I thought it might. Uh, cylinder actually looks like it's in really decent shape, but you know this thing sat sat in the guy's garage for quite a while. Um, like I said, the guy that I got it from was the second owner, and he used it to check cows way back in the day, and then he kind of just parked it in his garage and that's where I pulled it out of so I really don't know how many hours are on the thing but it looks other than just being need to be cleaned up it looks like it's in pretty decent shape All right, so we got the jug off. Um, one scratch there still really concerns me, but we'll see what happens. Uh, piston looks like it's in all right shape. Uh, like I expected, the rings aren't seized up. So that'll be nice. Um, as I showed you earlier, the head looked really good. Um, the needle bearings and the top of the connecting rod look pretty good. Uh, there's not a whole lot of flop there, so I'll probably be able to reuse those. As long as I got her apart this far, I'm going to split the case, too. Last time I worked on a sled, I didn't do anything with the bottom end, and the crank seal went out, and the motor blew up. So uh, I'll probably put new crank seals in it if I can find them, just because it's been sitting for so long. That uh, rubber wears out, and then bad things happen. Uh, right now, my holdup is getting the primary clutch off, and then getting this flywheel off over on this side. So uh, if I can get my hands on an impact, that'll probably help out quite a bit. So uh, I'll see what I can do with that. And uh, I think I'm going to call it quits for today. And uh, I've got a lot further here than I thought I would. So good day of work. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I uh, hope to have some more stuff up for you soon. Uh, I'm going to do some looking into parts for the carburetor. See if I can't get a carb kit for it. And then I'm going to look into the rest of the parts too as far as gaskets there wasn't a head gasket which i guess kind of surprised me i don't know if there's supposed to be one or not but there was a gasket here between the jug and the crankcase and that one was in pretty tough shape so we'll probably get that one replaced uh, but there's what i've got done so far so thanks for watching uh, please share and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more and uh, we'll see, see what I can get done here in the next couple days, and hopefully I can get a little further.